Okay, so Roblox is finally doing something good. It feels like recently we have had a lot of negativity to be discussing, which, I mean, a lot of people seem to unironically enjoy said negativity, but at times I can tell you right now that it does get pretty tiring. So before I tell you the good news today, I would first like to say, please leave a like on this video and subscribe. And of course, please join discord.gg slash Chloe Games. You can talk to me in there if you would like to do so. So this, this good thing, this positive thing, this incredible thing that Roblox is now planning to do regards the developers of the platform, which to me, I always absolutely love to see see Roblox doing good things for the developers of Roblox because like I always say when we talk about things like this Roblox really would not be what it is without the developers because as we all know every single game on the platform of Roblox is created by the users the entire platform is user generated content and that includes the games what Roblox is currently doing what I'm talking about today is something known as the 2022 Roblox Global Global Developer Championship and I mean for those of you who are familiar with the Roblox Developer Conference this reminds me of the game jam that they usually do during that developer conference except this time it's not exclusive to the attendees of that conference because this time it's completely online which means that every developer on Roblox is able to participate in this championship and when I tell you that the prizes are insane I need you to believe me because they have incredible prizes like unbelievable prizes for first place, second place and third place and then they also have top five community champions prizes and top 10 community finalist prizes as well as one prize for every single person who participates no matter where they finish in this championship so I, I mean allow me to show you the prizes in just a short moment but first of all I want to tell you about specifically what this is. So basically for the Roblox Global Developer Championship Roblox developers from all around the world are invited to participate in our tournament based global challenge and then they provided a very nice setup image to explain how exactly this is going to work and this championship starts off with the global playoffs which is where anyone can enter I mean any developer on Roblox is able to participate in this I think the one and only requirement that they have is that you and all your team members must be registered on the developer forums in order to participate. Now for the global playoffs they have teams from all around the world gather to develop an experience on Roblox and those teams have 10 days to develop and submit their experience through the submission server. From there I have to say right now that whoever is going to be a judge, whoever from Roblox is going to be part of the judging panel within this championship, I already feel so unbelievably bad for them because from every single game that is going to be submitted into this championship that judging panel has to select only 10 teams 10 games to move up into the semi-finals i can admit right now that i do not envy their job that is probably going to be the most difficult part about this entire championship however in the semi-finals the judges are going to get a bit of a break because the 10 teams in the semi-finals have to be cut down to five teams and that is going to be selected by global vote which i think means that either everyone on roblox is going to be able to get to vote between these 10 games and select them down into five games or maybe just people on the developer forums are going to have to vote for these games but no matter how that works the five teams with the most votes after that are going to be the ones that move on to the final stage which is the finals and finally from there in the finals each team has five days to optionally update or add new content to their games the first second and third place winners are selected by the roblox judging panel and this is my favorite part about this entire thing this is where the prizes come into play because not only will the grand champion get a prize but second and third and all community champions will also get a prize as well plus like i said earlier in this video all participants will receive an exclusive 
virtual item, which I would imagine is this little thing right here spinning around this medal. So to be honest with you, everyone on the developer forums are able to participate in this championship. If it was me, I would probably participate just for that medal alone. Now, the actual prizes, first place would win an Oculus Quest 2, second place would win an Xbox Series S, third place would win a Razer Huntsman V2 optical gaming keyboard, and then the top five community champions win a $30 Roblox gift card, and finally the top 10 community finalists would win a $20 Roblox gift card. They didn't really make this too clear, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work, but I'm just, I'm kind of curious right now as to whether each person in these teams would receive this prize that is listed here, or if it would be like the main person of the team, something along those lines. Because let's just say, for example, a team of 10 people win first place. Would each one of those 10 people win one Oculus each? Or like, would it just be the main person, the leader of that team? Also, 10 team members was exaggerating a little bit because each team can only have two to five members, which is interesting because nobody is allowed to work alone. Teams cannot have one member. If your team has one member, you can't enter this championship unless you find at least one more person to be a part of your team. But that's that's really all there is to this. I mean, there is a lot more information on this entire developer forum post, which mainly consists of rules and guidelines and then also the timeline of this entire event, which basically means the dates and times that all of these different stages of the championship are going to fall on. And I mean, taking a look at this image right here, it looks like this entire event, this entire championship is going to officially come to an end and the winners are going to be announced and selected by pretty much mid-April. So to be honest with you, I'm very, very excited to see exactly how this is going to go. But of course, as always, that is just my thoughts. I want to know what you guys think about this as well. So please, the comments is the place to go. So one more time, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will also appreciate the love and support that you guys give me. And you know what? It helps me out a lot. But I'm making a Roblox giving away such incredible things as prizes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.